This is Ethan Port from Tibco Software. In this movie, you will watch a large number of data tuples being put into a space, and you will observe how data is shuffled between seeders during space operations. In AS operations, we type PM to put a multiple number of tuples into the space. This will actually perform an asynchronous batch put all operation. We put 100,000 tuples. ASMM shows us the tuples being spread out between the two AS agent seeders, and we see the puts are carried out in parallel between the two seeders. The historical stats chart shows us the puts completed at a fairly even rate. We can drill into the first AS agent process to see how entries are distributed among spaces. In this case, the AS agent is only seeding the one MySpace space. The space information shows us each of the 50,300 Agent 1 tuples are replicated by Agent 2, and each of the 49,700 Agent 2 tuples are replicated by Agent 1. Now kill the Agent 1 process. Console messages show us the other members wait 30 seconds to see if the first AS Agent process is detected. With this default configuration, Space members wait for 30 seconds before reshuffling tuples in the space, because perhaps the loss of heartbeat from the first AS agent is due to a network error, rather than the process actually terminating. After 30 seconds, the seeder loss is declared by all the space members. The Agent 2 process automatically converts its 49,700 replica tuples into seeded tuples. This is a very fast process and does not involve any additional network transfer of data tuples. Also, every other space member, even the leeches, are automatically aware that all the tuples are seeded now by the Agent 2 process. Other movies will discuss more details about how this consistent hash algorithm handles data shuffling and does the automatic promotion from replica to seeded. But for now, just realize that this is a highly performant algorithm which leads to the massive linear scalability of data distribution and access between Active Space's members. Now we start a new seeder with a different member name, Agent 1. Because this name is different, the consistent hash algorithm actually reshuffles the data in a different way than before. This is because this member originally connected to the metaspace with a default member name, but now we are hardcoding the member name string, Agent 1. We see the member joins the metaspace cluster and also joins the MySpace space. ASMM reflects the data reshuffling as the replica copies are added back into the space. In the end, you see a different number of tuples, 50,404, and now stores 51,300 tuples. And Agent 2 reshuffles its previous tuples, 49,596 instead of 49,700. If we had used the same member name before and after killing and restarting the AS agent process, we would see the exact same tuples stored by each seeder. We will explore this scenario later in the movie. Now start a third seeder with member name Agent 3. In ASMM, you see the Agent 3 AS agent process join the space. Then you see the data reshuffling taking place. You see that tuples are approximately evenly balanced between all three seeders, but not exactly. Again, this is because the consistent hash algorithm deterministically matches a hashed version of the key value to a hashed version of the member name. This algorithm is the way active spaces quickly shuffle the data and can quickly carry out space operations. Every time a space operation is performed, the API calculates the seeder member for a particular key value. If the list of space members has not changed, the same key value always calculates to the same member name, and then the space operation is carried out directly, point to point or peer to peer, between the API and the seeder for that particular key. Now start AS operations again and put a million tuples. The first 100,000 tuples are already in the space. In ASMM, the additional 100,000 put operations are recorded, but data is not reshuffled at all because the consistent hash algorithm deterministically matches each hashed version of the key to the same seed or member name. Let's use the ASMM browser utility to see some of the tuples stored in the space. Notice that so far all the tuples have keys below 100,000. After the AS operations batch put all operation gets to new keys that are above the existing 100,000 key values, then we see the new data is being distributed among the three seeders. After the million tuples are added to the space, 
kill the Agent 2 Seeder. We see that Agent 1 and Agent 3 quickly convert each of Agent 2's replicas into locally seeded tuples. Again, this occurs very quickly because no data is actually transferred across the network. Each of the other seeders simply promotes the replica copy to a seeded copy. While the replication count for the space is being satisfied, we restart the Agent 2 member. The Agent 2 member tries to join the MySpace space as a seeder. But Agent 2 is initially joined as a leech while the space is still replicating tuples. Once the seeder ownership for each of Agent 2's tuples are transferred between Agent 1 and Agent 3, then replica copies are added across the network. This takes more time than the initial conversion of locally replicated tuples into seeded tuples. The initial conversion is really just a state change inside the replicated tuples that are already stored in the seeder. As soon as the replication phase is completed, then Agent 2 changes from a leech into a seeder, and now you see the data reshuffling into Agent 2. Here is a screenshot of the data distribution before and after the failover of Agent 2. You see that now the exact same number of tuples are seeded by each of the three agent processes, and that in fact the exact same keys are stored in each of the seeders before and after the failover. This is because, again, the consistent hash algorithm consistently matches a hash of a key to the same hashed member name, provided the number of members and all their member names are the same before and after. In this movie, you saw how to put multiple copies of tuples into a space using the AS operations utility, and then you observed how data is reshuffled after a seeder leaves and then rejoins the space. You can find more training material and other resources at activespaces.tibco.com, and you can communicate with other TIBCO users at tibcommunity.com, and you can find other training options at 10.tibco.com. Thanks for watching.